Hey booktube, it is Mia coming at you today at Select Pages doing another book tag for Vlogmas Day 12. <music> I am going to do the thank you next book tag. This one was created by Catherine from X Catherine Reads. Now I know this tag has been floating around booktube for a while. This is her original tag. The questions are slightly different than another one that's going around. Not to have you guys confused because I was because I was like these questions don't match but I see that there are actually different variations of this tag. I don't know. I just wanted to just throw that information out there. So let's jump right into the question. First question is share a book that was not a match for you. For that, I am going with Lainey Taylor's Gods and Monsters. I pushed through. I actually like the first book. I pushed through the second. This one here, I just DNF like somewhere towards the end it was like it was I was so close to finishing but I just did not care anymore it was just a drag I was confused nothing was happening definitely ruined what could have probably been a good series but this last book here was just not for me question two pick a book or series that you started to like but then ripped out your heart but that I'm going with the Diversion series. I know this is Insurgent. I don't own the first book. <laughs> but I really, really, really liked Divergent. It was one of my favorite reads when it first came out. And then this came out. And then the third book came out. And I'm just like, what the hell happened to the story? Like, what the heck did you do? Like, I don't get it. I didn't understand it. I was like, why? Another book uh, series that was like, has such strong potential with the first book. And then it just kind of just veered off I don't I couldn't even tell I couldn't even tell you what this book was about and don't even get me started on the last book I got like less than halfway on the the last book before I finally just said to hell with it DNF'd it never looking back <laughs> question three pick a book that taught you love one of your favorite romances OTP for that I'm going with my favorite love triangle of all time and that is from the Canesville novels from Kelly Armstrong. The three characters in this book, Olivia, Gabriel, and Ricky. Talk about a believable dynamic of two guys who's in love with one woman and she has to choose and she can't really, they're like her best friends and she loves them both dearly and then not to mention the fact that because they was like reincarnated from like another past lovers who went through the same thing so like every hundreds of thousands of years those souls kind of get reincarnated into new people so it was just like destined for them to be in this same predicament years later it was like oh my gosh this was like the one series where I would have just I would have been happy with whomever she chose she did have to make a, a choice and the one that she did choose, I was slightly happier. But like I said, it was just like a little bit. I would have been happy either way, but I'm so glad she chose the one that she did choose. And it was just so awesome. You guys had to read this book. I gushed about this book, this series actually, all over book two. You guys pick it up, read it. Let me know how, how much you like it. <laughs> Question four, pick a book that taught you patience. Slow pace, frustrating book. For that, I am going with Passenger by Alexander Bracken. Now, I did wind up enjoying this book once I finish it, and this mug, this mug is heavy, but, but it was so slow, the majority of the book, and I understand the concept of info dumping and kind of having to set up everything that's going on, but it was like, if any action was in this book, it was minuscule. It was like a page and a half, and then it just slowed back down again. Um, but it was one of those books where I really wanted to know how it end, what was happening, what she going to find out, what she needed to find out. So I would definitely would recommend this book, but if you're not the type who wants to go into a slow pace, kind of, just sit back and kind of let it take you away, then I don't recommend it. This, this book was probably better as an audio book now that I think about it. But we never know because I read it and I'm not going to go back into it. <laughs> Question five, pick a book that taught you pain. For that, I am going with Six of Crows. <sighs> these lovely characters. I felt for all of these characters, for all their backstories, for everything that they endured in both this and Crooked Kingdoms in both books hell. Everything that they just like went through was like, <sighs> I feel for you guys. <laughs> I can't go say too much about it. Still quite a few people on here who has not read this series. It's already hyped up all over booktube. So I'm not going to go into details about it. But just know that there is something that happened in this book. No. 
something that happened in Crooked Kingdoms that just had me like, why? And that's all I'm gonna say about it. <laughs> Question six, share a book you're just so thankful for. And if you've been watching my channel at all these last couple of years, you would know this should be no surprise to you. The book that I am most thankful for is, I'll give you a minute to guess, go ahead, guess. Did you guess? It is Ramona Blue by Julie Murphy. How many times do I have to say it? I love this book. I read this book once every year. It never gets old, never gets boring. I'm surprised each and every time. This is the book that I want to be buried in. Okay, so when y'all lay me down to rest, don't put roses on my chest and whatnot. Just put this lovely baby right here on my chest because I love it so much. <laughs> And that is it. That is the end of the tag. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you stuck around to the end of the video, uh, I tag everybody who has not done this tag yet because it's been floating around and a lot of people that's coming to my mind right now already done the tag. So I would have to look it up. If I can find anybody, I'll link it down below. But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying everything that's going on in life and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye loves.